Right? Today is auction day, man cavers being Saturday. So, we're going to roll them credits and see what we've bought today. I just need to get the table moved and, yeah, get set up. Right, back in a minute. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, well, first thing we need to do, move that table so we can see what's going on. Right, well, here we go. Here is our collection of stuff from the auction. Let's have a look what we got. We have some lovely, and believe me, these are heavy, 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 heavy steel wheels with rubber tires. Perfect for stationary engine, trolley, something which don't need a cast wheel, something a bit more modern, sort of. 60s onwards would really suit a wheel like this. I may have a thought for the owning, but we will see. Anyhow, Mrs. Manke is going to kick my backside if she see I've got these wheels in the living room. So we'll put them outside. We have a pair of them, and yes, they are a pair. So I'll put them outside, and we'll have a little rummage through these boxes. Back in a minute. Well, Mrs. Mancave just bought through the companion set. Yeah, we got a iron companion set. Yeah, look at that. It'll go nicely if we... Quite heavy. If we just take the sticker off. Oh, what's happened? The sticker is sticking too well. There we go. Take the sticker off. And I think... Let's have a look here. Oh, down by the wood burning stove it goes. Don't that look good? That was a pound. One English pound. Was that one English pound, Mrs. Mankey? It was. It was one English pound, right. Let's have a look what else we've got. Now we have a box of mugs that Mrs. Mankey wanted, which she's going to wash up and take to work. So, yes, we have a box of mugs. She's bought them for the staff. What's in this box? There's a mystery box inside a box of mugs. There's some sort of glass. Here we go. Oh, what glass is this? Oh, I don't know what logo this is. What's it say on there? Grandad. Well, there you go. If anybody want an engraved Grandad glass, we have one. Glass tankard. There we go. How much was this box of mugs, Mrs. Mankey? Three pounds, she told me. For a, ooh, another mystery box. What have we? Oh, 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 oh! What have we got? We have a set of three mugs. And look at these. Look, brand new. Look, brand new mugs. There you go. She wanted mugs for the staff canteen. She's got mugs for the staff canteen. There we go. There's even a little tree to put them on. Look. There's Mrs. Man Cave. So we've got to move this box of mugs and the glass tank up with Grandad on it. There. And then we look what else we've got. Back in a moment. Right, what else have we got? The mugs have been moved. We have oh, a box of telephones. Now this is something for my mate Vince. Vince, what's this plug on these telephones? I'm assuming these are exchange phones. Up the hell, we got a ring on here. What have we got? <laughs> we have a phone. All right, we have an old-fashioned phone. There we go. There we go. And we have this plug on which I assume... Oh, ah, my wires are all a tangle. What's happened here? Oh, my wires are tangled. No, they're not. There we go. Well, I'm assuming this is one the opera hour would have put in. <laughs> and then you pick up, go, Hello, 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 it's your mother. Mm, there you go. They even got a little Paddington bear or something on there. Love it, look at that. Oh. 
There we go. So we have one phone. We have two phones. There we go. And where are we? Where are all my wires are all a tangle again? This one got the same plug on it, which I assume again is a switchboard phone. Oh, oh. That's a little bit slow on the return. If I have a sneaky feeling with a few repetitions. Uh oh. I think a little bit of WD on there might help it return. But there you go. There we go, mate. There. Right, we have our two telephones. So one for my mate Vince. He'll be able to tell me exactly what these are because he used to work with telephones, best of my knowledge. But there, we shall clean these up. And what we're going to do with them, I don't know. That'll probably end up on eBay if anybody wants them. What else have we got? What have we got here? We have a box of lights. Oh, the phones. They were £10 the pair in the wicker basket. So there we got some new lights. Low voltage lights. Yeah. I think we need to... Ah, there's one out of the packet. Now, what are these things? Right, okay. Is there bits missing? These are all in the sealed bags. So I'm assuming there's nothing missing out of these. Because they're all in sealed bags. These must be the ones what go in your kitchen ceiling, perhaps. But there you go. There's a whole box. One, how many have we got? One, two, three, four five six we have seven lights and two four six seven bulbs and whatever this thing is look like one of them little lamps and there we go seven lights and seven bulbs and these were two pound in the little tray mmm oh there we go this is what we're getting off Swap and marker on the Saturday morn. That's that box finished with. Now what's in this box? Hey -ya. Why did I buy this? Oh, I bought this box, or Mrs. Man Cave bought me this actually, for the funky robot. I like the little robot. I thought he was cool. How much was this box, Mrs. Man Cave? The one with the robot. Two pounds or three pounds? Two pounds this box. With the funky robot. And he's quite heavy. So what he's all about. I haven't got a clue. Whether he's one of these little smart ones. Connect blue teeth to your phone. I wouldn't have a clue. But I thought he was cool. He's lovely. He is cool isn't he. <laughs> so he's a keeper I'm afraid. What else have we got in here for our two pound box. Have we found a blankety blank checkbook and pen here. No we haven't. We have just found an empty wallet. Is there going to be. Cashish inside. No, there's no cashish. No, no cashish. But it does look like a brand new wallet. And if your initials are PJG, give me your address. I'll send this to you. FOC. What have we got here? Oh, we have a snakeskin wallet. This is actually, what's that say there? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I've got a map on it. A map on it of Thailand there. So she's right. Bangkok. Well, only if the lights are dark. Right, there we go. We've got lots of Bangkok wallets. Yeah, again, nothing in it. I think these are brand new, if I'm honest. Do you know, I might actually use that myself. Let's do the sniff test. It stinks musty. <laughs> Smells something like... <laughs> Stale beer and used fly traps. Right, we'll get rid of that. What we got here? Oh, I don't know what we got in here. Ooh, oh, ooh, a new thing. Put your keys in. Yeah. Oh, the stuff I get. What we got here? More purses and wallets. More purses and what? This one actually looks used. But again, no money in them. Never mind. What we got? Ooh. Cocktail 
Dumondi. Well, we have a metal sign. Do you know, this might actually hang up in the camper van as a bit of decor. I quite like it. It has a skeleton on it. An American automobile. We have some maracas, cocktail. We have the statue there. Sandy Mexican tequila. Look at all that. The big apple. Now, this is very Americano. I absolutely love it. That's gone in the camper. Keep. What have we got here? Michael, Michelle, what? Michael Coros? How do you pronounce that? Michael Coors. Michael Coors? What have we got in here? Well, that looked like a pair of SGs. There we go. Let's have a look. Oh, look at them bad boys. You can see that. They actually look, I mean, they're a bit feminine for me. But these Michael Coors, there we go. They actually feel like it's even got Michael Kors on the lens. These actually feel like a half decent pair of SGs. Let Man Cave try them on. And see see what a pair of pink SGs suit me like. Yeah. yeah, I can see the world in a whole different tinge. There we go. Hang on a minute. What? Hang on. It's just not right. It's, it's just not, not right. Right, hang on. Mrs. Man Cave. Hang on. Mrs. Man Cave, right. right. Oh, well, I see what you're going to do. Yeah, go on then. Oh, look at that. No, no, there you go. There you go. King Wongaloo here with my Michael Carros <laughs> SGs. Right. Try the SGs. See what Mrs. Man Cave looked like with the SGs oh. on. Oh, like, do you know, like, don't they suit <laughs> Mrs. Man Cave look? They're nice. I do like those. Don't she look good? Got my own SGs. She has got her own SGs. Let's let's put <laughs> let's put the hat on her. There we go. So there we go. What else have we got here? Well, mine it's all its cables. We have a CB. Break on one now. This is the rubber duck. Yeah. I'm sure Pig Pen will have a copy on here somewhere if we twist some knobs and get it plugged in. Oh the dials and knobs turn. Buttons all work, look. So there we go. We have a Uniden, Uniden, whatever it is. Uniden CB radio minus its cables. There we go. There's even a serial number. There. What we're going to do with that, I don't know. Glass bowl. I think Mrs. Man Cave has earmarked that to store the apples in on the table. Oh, yes. That is Perfect. A, it is a very nice bowl. Lovely. And I, well, well, how much was this box? I think it was about £2. That was £2 again, this box. Ooh. This is a no-smoking area. Well, we have a no-smoking sign as well. We have another wallet. You know, these wallets look new, actually. They don't look like they've ever been used. I think... Man cave has got to be kept in wallets for a while. Oh, the rain has now come in. It must have been Christmas presents, I reckon. I reckon these are... Oh, here we go. A Pentax Optio 5 megapixel camera. Well, welcome to 2003. There we go. So we have a digital camera. Is there a memory card? Oh, there's no memory card. Or else I'd have eyeballed at what people were taking pictures of. Well, there we go. I say, if you've just been born in 2003 and you've just woke up from a time travel, I've got a brand new camera for you. Yeah. Pentax. What have we got here? Gold Flake Cigarettes. That looks like another. So we have a Gold Flake Cigarette case and a no smoking sign in the same box. That all looks very good, don't I? <coughs> I can't get this apart. Again, it's just to hang your keys on. What else have we got here? We have... Oh, Mrs. Man Cave has just unboxed this Helena... Helena camera. Is that an old... Ain't even 35mm, is it? That predator 35mm, don't it? F45mm, well, that's the F-stops on the lens. Have not got a clue. There you go. Well, there you go. We have an old school camera. 
in our two pound box. Yeah, let's get this done here. There we go. And another camera, a Nikon F65, which has got the back missing. That is a 35mm camera. I think this one really is um suitable for the bin. Of course, the back door is missing. Unless, of course, anybody's got a Canon F65 and just want it for spare parts. Again, pay the postage and you can have it. My marvellous. Let's get rid of that box. Now then, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mrs. Mankay bought this for me because she see me look at it, but I actually didn't see it sold. I think I was getting a cost of coffee at the time. I come back and she said, I bought you that box you wanted. And I was like, oh, anyhow, we have a little box. Yes, there's a drawer missing. Very unfortunate. But considering I've gone in my own shed, I aren't too worried. Anything in there? How much did you pay for this? Two pound again. 13 amp, 3000 watt fuse. There we go. Well, there's some more 13. Well, we've got enough 13 amp fuses here that we could have several experiments with mains and never run out of fuses. What have we got here? There's some screws. Look at them tiny little tacks. Look, now there are some little ones. What the devil would you use these for? They are minute little tacks. Tacks. TV, aerial sockets, screws, you know, you know we're going to look through each one of these, don't we? A bit of Formica edging trim might come in for the camper. A load of little wooden dowels. Yeah, we've got some wooden dowels if we want to get into joinery. I look at these boxes and I often wonder, what did this person do for a living or a hobby? Well, we have a selection of lost head nails there. You can never have too many lost head nails. Very good. Screws empty. Some more dowels. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> What's in there? Look like raw plugs. Which someone's jammed in so the door don't come undone. There we go. We're gone, mate. Why have they been cranked in there? Look. Well, yeah, there's definitely raw plugs in there. A couple of boxes of. And what am I going to do? Crank it back in so we can't get them out again. Yeah, that's it. What we got in there? Some more dowels. Do you know, do you think this was a wood woodworker guy's box? Hmm. What have we got? Brackets. I was saying, this was all £2 again. Oh, a lovely little set of 27 pence hinges. One inch brass butt hinges. Is there a pair? Oh, there is a pair in there. Look, these are tiny with screws. As big as my thumbnail. Look, there we go. I wonder how long, how old this tin is. Of course, the staples are gone rusty and they was 27p. Right, what's Miss Man K found in this tin? Double action control. Oh, what's in there? Oh, look at that. A selection of, these are glass. Mm. Glass slides, and they look like fibre washers. So we have some fibre washers. <laughs> right. That's a lovely old tin, isn't it? Mm. Cough control. <laughs> For coughs and colds, take them sips. What's in that one? Well, someone had a lot of coughs. Ooh, there's a lot. Whatever's in that little tiny box. What's that saying? Okay. Three-piece... What was it? Three pieces spare blades for a pencil sharpener. So we've got pencil sharpener blades, size N. Bit of chalk. Bit of chalk. I can know what's he got here? L size pencil sharpener blades. Do you know I didn't know pencil sharpeners even had changeable blades? I'm assuming this box is for some old boy. What are they? Pen nibs? Mm -hmm. Pen nibs, safety pins. A little wooden expander, wedge, whatever you want to call it. Cylindrical wedge. These look like brushes out of electric motors. Safety pins. There you go, little box of stuff and bits and pieces. 
masonry drill bit but unfortunately no drill bit oh there's a tube there masonry drill bit but alas it's empty it is empty there we go so that's that drawer thank you mrs man cave let's put all this back yeah i'm assuming this is definitely from some older person this is probably house clearance stuff. This video is getting plenty long enough. Right, what have we got in here? Well, we have some door catchers of some sort. Yale. Lock and hardware. Have we got a lock and key in here or aren't we? I'll just pull them out, Mrs. Man Cave. Let's have a look, see if there's anything in there. Oh, well, we have a lock. Oh, but alas, no key. But we do have an old-fashioned Yale lock. Where's the lock-picking lawyer? He'll get that sort. You know, we might even find a key in here. Well, we have a magnet which is attracting copper nails. How does this happen? How do you get copper nails to attract a magnet? I don't know, maybe that's steel coated copper. We have some sort of... Oh, I don't know what this is. Some more, there's another fuse. Anyhow, we're scurrying through here. I think we're going to have to hoover up after I've done this. Hang on, I've got a screw on the floor. I don't like having a screw loose. I have a screw loose, you beat me to it. Here we have some <laughs> plastic clips. Oh, uh, vulcanization. Well, I'm assuming that's a puncher patches for the look of it. They are! There's some tyre patches for your bicycle or your wheelbarrow, and it's even got the solution with it. Look, man. Whoa, isn't that lovely? We need a punch or a repair kit. Yeah, nuts to you and all. What have we got here? Well, we have a brand, well, I don't know well, have a note. Ah, M6, 50 countersunk screws with nuts and washers. Part number 30597. There we go. If you want some countersunk nuts and bolts, Man Cave has them. Along with some camping and leisure air bed plugs. I wondered what that said for a second when I see something plugs. Right, there we go. We have two lots of plugs and a loose screw and some washers. We're getting through this box of stuff here, aren't we? I didn't want the contents. I only wanted the box because it's tin. Well, we've got a lovely little jar with some screws in. An empty packet. What the devil is this? It looked like a water inlet and outlet with a thermostatic control on the bottom. I'm assuming this bit probably goes over the bottom here. No, that don't fit on there, don't know. Wow, some rum looking light bulbs, aren't they? I've never seen light bulbs like this before. What voltage are they? We have one, we have two of them. Oh, this is something you don't see very often these days. Fuse wire, look. 5 amp light and 10 amp heat and 15 amp for power. And look how much. Five pence. Do you know, I reckon this was definitely an old box. Mm. Because I'm sure you can't buy a packet of fuse wire now for five pence. There you go. <laughs> and we have how many packets of fuse wire? Four. We have four packets of fuse wire, some loose. And then we have like a slinky spring. What the hell is this? It's definitely like a slinky spring. Boing, boing, boing. There we go. Yeah. It's worth two pounds just for that. It is worth two pounds because I could have ours of fun with the slinky spring. That looked like a piece of tube. So... I do like them little bulbs. They are right different. Reckon they come out of an old radio or something? Bleep bloop it in the comments if you know what them bulbs are. Oh, and he took us an absolute decade to go through this box of bits. We've been through. Oh, we haven't been through this side. You're right. What we got here? Oh, anyone know what these are? Aluminium as well. They could be really handy for a little project. Quite a few of them. 
aluminium brackets of some description and whatever we got in here this looks like ah that's another bit of tire solution and a big rubber patch don't know what that is there's a thingy off a suitcase yeah there's some bits and pieces here oh you're gonna love this next box we've got to look through if you guys are still with me let's move him out of the way right this also two pound do we want to be going through this is there a date on that paper mrs man cave was it wrapped up last week? <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh, it was. 2022. So somebody's obviously cleared a shed because this is recent newspaper, but this don't look like recent stuff. Oh. We have brand new sealed up six bolt batteries. Two of them. There you go. If you've got an old fashioned torch. Oh my word. I'm not going to open every one of these jars to look. We can peek through the sides. Brackets. Oof, little tiny brass chains and weights. What's that say? Demic discs? Goodness bub knows what they are. Whatever this is. Oh, there's some stuff here. Electrical plugs. Look at all them little like electrical plugs. Somebody here obviously threw absolutely nothing away. Big wire clips look very handy. Well, that's some massive pop rivets. Look at the size of them bad boys. <laughs> oh, a big, huge Nescafe jar full of springs. You know, this looked like the sort of stuff my granddad would have kept. Huge mahoosive paper clips going from massive ones to not so massive. Whatever they are. Brass tacks. You get the gist of what's in this box. Ink fillers. Plugs. Curtain things. An empty cassette deck of... Simply red, men and women, look at that. They're holding back the years. That's about my limit. Right, here we go. I've been holding back the years by the time I get this lot done. I was simply red sung that one. Day. Right, there we go. Is that, oh, yes, she's right. Door stops or door wedges. <laughs> all very handy. We're not going to go through all these. There's them things you used at school to hold your paintings together. Look, a little flugel binder, string things. Where's some, where's some old snag nails in there? Look, massive curtain hooks. What the devil is in here? I have no clue. A quarter box of screws. Ah, hardened wood screws, look. Four by five eights. There we go. More curtain hooks. There we go. Just general bits and pieces here. Yeah, we have... What's in that box, Mrs. Tin, Mrs. Mankay? More screws. Yeah. Let's get back on there, sunshine. That ain't the right lid for the jar, but there we go. And I say, we've got two six-volt batteries. And once again, I give two pound for this lot. So we're getting through what we've got today. Ah, uh, right. This is where I spent a little bit more money buying a Rexon. Hey, -ya! a Rexon. What do you call it? Mitosaur. That's the word I'm looking for. Now then, does this thing work? I do not know. I think... Hey, oh, let's get the cable out from under... Well, the cable don't look damaged. I think this is probably meant to be back up there. Why has that been taken out of there? Hmm, makes me wonder if someone's been fiddling with this thing and that don't work. But I had to pay the grand sum of £10 for this. 
doesn't even come up. There we go. Yeah, hell, we're up. Safety works. Yeah. But does this thing actually work? I reckon we need to plug an extension lead in outside and see if this thing will fire up. Oh, is that all safety locked there? Ah, there you go. Oh, I see that knob has to... Oh, there's some form of switch there. That might be to lock the motor so you can change the blade. You can change the brushes, in it? I'm assuming this is probably a half decent. Let's get the lock in. There you go. Why would I get two switches? 3,000 RPM. 4,500 RPM. Why is it two-speed? I haven't seen a two-speed motor saw before. Do you use a lower speed and put a metal disc in there and the higher speed for cutting wood? I really don't know. I have two motor saws and none of them actually have blades like that. My motor saws have like um, circular saw blades with quite vicious teeth. This has got very small teeth. Expansion. Yeah, expansion gaps. There you go. If this thing works... I do not know. I guess we'll have to see. Right. What have we got in our box? Yeah, last thing. Now this is we have a Honda sticker on the end. Lamp housing left hand. There's the Honda part number. A quick Googleator from the Googleator machine shows me this is a Honda CRV. There we go, brand new Honda CRV railway, and it is spanking brand new, genuine Honda look, not some aftermarket flimsy thing. There, brand new Honda CRV railway. There, that's what we got. So that's what come in our box. And if I told you I paid £3 for that, you'd be like, wow, what would that cost from Honda? All right, there's one more thing. Hang on, I've got tripods and everything set up. Oh, where did that little watch go? Where did that little watch go I bought? Here it is. Let me get there. Yeah. I also bought this little pocket watch out of the stand. Now, whether you guys can see what that says on there. It says, Railway Timekeepers. Now, I'm going to zoom in a little bit and hope you guys can probably see a bit better. Let's get the reflection out of it. There. There we go. Railway Timekeepers. Shock proof. So, we have a Railway Timekeepers pocket watch. I shall have to try and clean up the back a little. I have given it a little wind. And it really don't appear to be doing anything. So this is not something I'm going to have to bits. Because I have not got the knowledge to. Wouldn't even know where to start with fixing a mechanical watch. If it worked I would have kept it myself. Because I like railway stuff. But it's no good to me really if it don't work. But there we go, railway timekeepers. This will also be going on flea bay, I think, because it doesn't work. But there you go. I think I paid ten pound for this, I think, from the auction. No, it weren't ten, that was six pound, wasn't it? Six. Six pound, six pound. I've just been corrected. So there we go. This is all the stuff we have bought from auction. I will show you one thing I bought last week. While we're here, I bought it back in the house. It is. Right. This is wrapped up. This is right. There we go. January 8th, 2000. So this book is 22 years old. And what was in this box? A whole box. 
coloured fairground lights. And I have unwrapped all of these out of the newspaper. In the bottom there, there are 76 of them bulbs wrapped up in newspaper. I've took them and unwrapped every one and put in that light. Every one of these bulbs in here work. There was one broken and there was five that were dead. So we actually came with 80, 85 or something bulbs. We had to throw five away. One was broken. But we've got 76 in there all working. And in here, you'll like this. The waterproof cabling look like this is proper fairground stuff. I mean, this isn't Mickey Mouse. This is, you know, this is proper heavy duty waterproof light sockets for these colourful lights. And again, this was three pound. We've got a whole box, you know, there's ten of them light holders on that string. I've had them all to pieces, ten on that string. And someone's put about another 20 feet of cable and extended it. But there you go. Say, so these were wrapped up in this People magazine. As you can see, there's the People magazine. Another page of the People magazine. So these bulbs have been wrapped up since 2000. So 22 years that lot has been wrapped up in that box. There we go. What mom standing on stuff. Right. <sighs> There you go. This is what Man Cave, and this is Man Cave, have been up to today. This morning, we went to auction, Saturday morning, and this video is now going to be posted. Well, it's not Saturday night, because as you know, when I post a video, it's always filmed the same day. I never have any sort of gap, because as you've seen, my editing skills are not sort of the most thorough. I do a basic edit and leave most of the stuff in. So there we go. Oh, we was going to see if that drill, that um, motor saw worked, weren't we? We might add that to the end of the video. Anyhow, I'm going to end the video here. And we will see you next time. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Right, bye-bye for now. Ha-ha! <laughs> Boxes of stuff.